pressure exerted by vapor at equilibrium with its liquid in the closed system. That is vapor pressure, 3.Q. Which one of the compounds A or B has the higher vapor pressure? So what do we know? We know that the higher the boiling point, the higher the melting point, the higher the viscosity, but the lower the vapor pressure. So which one of the compounds A or B has the higher vapor pressure? Well, the compound with the lowest boiling point will have the highest vapor pressure. So between A and B, which one has the lowest boiling point? It is compound A with minus 42 degrees Celsius. Compound B has a boiling point of 36 degrees Celsius. So the answer here is A. A has the lowest boiling point, so it should have the highest vapor pressure. Right, 3.3.1. Let's consider compound C, 2-methylbutene. Is compound C a saturated or unsaturated hydrocarbon? Well, it is easy to see that it is saturated. Why are we saying that it is saturated? A compound is saturated if it only consists of single bonds between the carbon atoms. No multiple bonds whatsoever. That is a saturated compound. Just like our compound C, it is a simple alkene saturated compound. Alkene and alkynes are unsaturated because we have double and triple bonds. Here we only have single bonds. 3.3.3 because we've just answered 3.3.2 there. Which type of intermolecular forces are mainly present between these compounds? Well, the compounds on our table, we have propane, pentane, 2-methylbutane, and then we have an outlier, pentane, one all. As you can see, one intermolecular force that is present from compound A to compound D is London forces. It is present even in compound D pentan one all so that is uh, the type of intermolecular force uh, which is mainly present between these molecules there is london forces in pentan one all it is just that the strongest intermolecular forces in pentan one all will be hydrogen bonding but london forces is present 3.3.3 let's go ahead and look at 3.4.1 and 3.4.2. Define the term structural isomer. Organic compounds with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Same molecular formula but different structural formula. Just like compound B and C, we have C5H12 3.4.2 refer to the structure intermolecular forces and energy in your explanation to explain why compound B has a higher boiling point than compound. Let's go ahead and have a sketch of compound B. Five carbons in a straight line. So one, two, three, four, five. While compound C on the other hand, we have one, two, three, four, and a branch on the second carbon. How does compound B differ from compound C. The only difference between these two compounds is the degree of branching. Compound B is less branched compared to compound C. Less branched means more surface area. So we have more surface area in compound B. From there on, our song starts. More surface area, stronger intermolecular forces. If the intermolecular forces are stronger, more energy will be required to overcome the intermolecular forces and consequently a higher boiling point, just like we can see. Right, so B is less branched compared to compound C, as we can clearly see. This is straight and here we have a branch. Less branched will mean more surface area. More surface area, stronger intermolecular forces, more energy is required to overcome those intermolecular forces. 
I hope that is uh, clear. The last question, 3.5. Explain the difference in the boiling points of B and D. Refer to the intramolecular forces and energy in your explanation. Let's go ahead and look at B and D. B is pentane and D is pentane one all. Look at the difference in the boiling point, even though they have the same number of carbons. 36 degrees Celsius and 137 degrees Celsius. So why does compound D has a higher boiling point compared to compound B? Well, compound B consists of London forces, while compound D consists of hydrogen bonding. We know fully well that hydrogen bonding is a stronger intermolecular force compared to London forces. So compound D will have stronger intermolecular forces. More energy will be required to overcome the intermolecular forces in compound D. And as a consequence, it has a higher boiling point.